buongiorno a tutti. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is, as always, Mr. Reno Zorin in the house. Welcome to Couch with Reno Z. And, you know, put the like and subscribe. Let's take care of business, as always, which it never ends. Not just with Juventus. Italia Calcio in se per se. So what we have came to conclusion yesterday, not only Fagioli, but even Tonali and Zagnolo, which there's more. There's more, my fellow paisans, because uh, there's a lot to talk about this situation. But I get deep close on the situation here, especially from this uh, Papagallo, Fabrizio Corona. Like, this guy really wants to talk? I'll fix this guy, don't worry. So, they knew this for a while, Tonali, Zagnol, and especially Fagioli, that they're doing this pity. But the question I'd like to ask you, was Roma and Milan smart to sell the uh, Tonali and the Zagnol? Because think about it, uh, Zagnol was betting while he was on the bench against Roma. So they know for sure about this. But when it comes to the point of selling, of course, they want to sell Juventus 40, 50 grand. But as soon as they found the Porto with the Galatasaray, uh, the Turkey team, whatever, uh, I can't remember the name, they sell them for peanuts. So they clean their hands. Same with Tonali. How come two years ago, Milan was uh, Tonali's project? We have to build something around him. Then, of course, they found out this way before than anyone. And they know this for a while. So I assume they found the Porto because Newcastle want to cash in 80 million. And they say, you got to go. And it is true that Tonal did not want to leave Milan. But the boss said, you got to go. Or else there's going to be problems eventually. And unfortunately, it came out that, that uh, Tonal is investigated too. So, but on the other note, with Fajoy, what I heard yesterday through my paisans from Italy... It's pretty bad. He has an addiction. And apparently the Serbs were at the Allianz Stadium uh, waiting for him outside, attacking all small spackle tutos, putra putia, baby, boo boo, because they wanted Fajo. So Fajo had to give money to his friend to pay the debts. Like, can you believe what kind of world we're living? I know everybody's saying it's just said, yeah, this is, but the gambling world is everywhere. Now it's affecting us, but. Don't tell me that in England and Spain, they don't deal with this. But all these rumors were coming along, which Juventus knew, and Juventus and the Lords pushed Fagioli to, to uh, admit. All right? But then, this Papagallo Fabrizio Corona, I think you all know him. He's a scumbag. Yes, I was kind of defending him yesterday, but then after what I'm hearing, what he said yesterday at Sport Italia, it was a problem pagliaccio. Then you're even an Interista. What, what can we expect? Why there's no names from uh, the Interista, Mr. Corona? You just bring out Juve and you said on Sport Italia that Juventus knew about this. There should be a retrocessione. A bello de casa. Calm down because La Tauro situation is not pleasant. And by the way, Zagnolo is friends with Barella. Good friends with Barella and Donnarumma. So... Something's fishing there too because they're saying there's more players on the go, so let's wait and see. But you, you Corona, as known as Papagallo, as I call him, I don't want to offend him too much because my, my, it's my, unfortunately, my brother's big fan. But besides the jokes, he said, I'll bring more names uh, if you put a thousand likes on uh, my YouTube channel. And apparently, he said that uh, he knows there's some. Uh, uh, players in the city uh, that they're gay, this and that, that he's going to mention. But how dare you? It's their business if not they want to mention not they, if the person is gay whatsoever. Like, what kind of person are you? And we know all the scandals that this guy did with Trese Gay back in the day. Uh, you know, as you see on this internet, he's a playboy, entrepreneur. I don't know if I can call this guy an entrepreneur. And all the famous uh, 60 photos with uh, Selim Belen. Like, what kind of example does this guy have? Mina Morgi, his ex-wife, had to divorce him because for his son. And you want to talk? Buddy, and and it's funny how the journalists follow this guy. 
just to tell what kind of world we live in. I know friends of mine are saying this is not good for Italian culture. Is it our fault? If we don't have a good system whatsoever, it's going to get worse and worse. And now Kays is not playing on the national team. These two players are not playing. Let's hope there won't be other players till today that won't be at the national team. Because there's one from Juventus and there's other players from other teams. Let's hope it's not in Italian. Per favor. Anyways, uh, like and subscribe to this channel. I give you more updates. Maybe I might do a live. Depends on my schedule. As I see, I'm working. So please like and share. And I will talk to you lovebirds soon. Ciao, ciao. E arrivederci.